Hi, my name is Simon Kieschek and I am the electrical test engineer here at Hayden Kirk Motion Solutions, business unit of Amatech Precision Motion Control. For this video, I will demonstrate closing the loop on a stepper motor system using an idea drive. When sized properly to the application, a linear actuator utilizing a stepper motor is very accurate for positioning. A revolution of a stepper motor is broken down into an equal number of steps. For example, a 1.8 degree motor has 200 steps per revolution. A stepper motor will only move if pulses are sent from the drive to the motor. Therefore, by knowing how many pulses are sent out, we know the angular displacement of the motor. Now, if this motor is coupled with a lead screw to form a linear actuator, we will know how far we have traveled with each pulse that is sent from the drive to the motor. The lead of the screw divided by the number of steps per revolution gives us the linear travel per step. For example, a motor I am using has a 0.75 inch lead. Dividing this by 200 yields a travel of 0.00375 inches per step. Assuming the motor does not stall if it is properly sized for the application, we know the position of the motor at all times by the pulses we output from the drive. However, there are times and applications where we need to verify that the motor is where it was designated to go. By creating an input for an encoder on our idea drive, the user now has the option of closing the loop on position and verifying exactly where the motor or actuator is. There are also additional features related to encoder feedback which will aid the user in making good use of closed loop feedback. So let's start off by connecting the drive to the PC. Here we have a PCM4826E drive utilizing a USB communication with a NEMA size 17 motor mounted on one of our BGS rails. Additionally, we have a rotary incremental encoder on the back of the motor which we will connect to the drive. Now we'll fire up the software and enter our part number. We'll start by performing a real-time extend move, traveling 1,000 steps at a speed of 400 steps per second at the full rate of current of the motor. As you can see, the carriage on the slide moved, and we see a current position of 1,000 steps on the interface. Now let's perform a retract move, again using a distance of 1,000 steps and a speed of 400 steps per second, except this time we'll use a run current of 10 milliamps and a hold current of 0 amps. The motor attempted to move the carriage and could not. However, our user interface shows a position of 0, indicating that we came back to the starting point. This is because the drive sent out the pulses to the motor. Whether the load was dramatically increased or the motor burned out, the drive did not notice that the motor was unable to perform the move. As I move the carriage back and forth, the position indicator does not change. Now I will activate the encoder feedback function within the IDEA software. The rotary encoder has 400 counts per revolution, therefore we will enter 400 as the encoder resolution in the software. The drive uses X2 decoding, therefore we will accumulate 800 pulses per revolution. Since we are using a 1.8 degree stepper motor, we have 200 steps per revolution on the motor. Rotary encoder line count divided by the number of steps per rotation of the motor will give us our feedback accuracy. So 800 divided by 200 will give us a ratio of 4, meaning that we will receive 4 encoder counts per step, allowing us to be accurate down to a quarter of a step. Now by simply moving a carriage back and forth by hand, you can see the position indicator change and we have successfully closed the loop on our system. Now if I perform the same move as before using the 10 milliamps of run current, you will notice that our position did not change. Additionally, there are two encoded features with our idea drives, stall compensation and position verification. The stall compensation feature allows the user to sense a stall when attempting to perform a move. It does this by continually checking the encoder counts when simultaneously outputting pulses to the motor. If the encoder count does not match the pulses being sent out, a stall is detected. The user has an input for the number of correction attempts the drive should perform in an effort to get the motor to compensate for the steps which were missed. In our example, this would not aid us since we have such a low current setting. However, if the motor originally misstepped by several steps in overcoming the inertia to set the carriage in motion, this function would be able to correct for the issue given enough correction attempts. If the drive cannot correct position due to a stall, it will default to a user subroutine in the program. This is helpful in our situation as it will give us a chance to modify our parameters within the subroutine and allow us to successfully perform the move. In our subroutine, which we will label error, we'll activate an output to indicate to the user that a stall has occurred. 
We'll also perform the same move with the rate of run current of the motor so that we can successfully finish our program. So we have moved halfway down our rail after initially stalling as indicated by our active LEDs. The second encoder feature is called position verification and it will continually monitor the position of the motor and ensure it stays where it was designated to go from the previous move command. Where the stall compensation feature continually monitored the encoder while the motor was moving, the position verification will monitor the encoder after a move has been performed. So if I were to move the carriage here, the position changes and the drive does not care where the carriage ends up. It performed this part by getting the carriage to the designated position and it, and it does not monitor that position afterwards. Now we will enable the position verification feature, setting an error to within a quarter of a step since that is our finest resolution. Now I will zero the position and perform a short move of 400 steps. If I move the carriage now, the drive will continually find me, in the end bringing the carriage back to the desired position of 400 counts. So that concludes our presentation on closing the loop for our stepper motor system, an exciting new feature for our line of idea drives.